can't go outside without my weapon. I miss his head when I shot. Nigga had a death wish. Ain't gotta get ready for no beef. I stay on go. I be everywhere like a hooper. I bring it straight to your door. Can't get caught without it. I gotta leave with my pistol. Get caught like in the trap. I'ma let it ring out the window. I'ma shoot, shoot, shoot. When I pull up on you, hanging out the side. Crazy. This nigga losing his mind. Yeah, we knew he was kind. That nigga was talking way too much. <laughs> he was. I seen that shit, bro. I was like, my nigga, is this nigga really saying what I think he saying? Now, what he don't understand is his snitching, right? Only gave him um, immunity for what the LAPD in California. Y'all gotta remember. The Tupac murder is a Nevada fucking body. That's deep. That your immunity don't don't it don't go over there, dummy. Dummy. <laughs> Stupid as fuck. Think he might have forgot that shit. Shit. <laughs> he told the whole murder. I felt like I was in the car with the nigga when he was talking. Bro, about he tripped. This the first time he did. You know what I'm saying? It was all speculation. This nigga here, the he, you know what I'm saying? He told. Greg Cadence, the one he was informing to, but that was part of his immunity. He did all the telling, told, tried to line up, zip all the niggas. But that was part of the immunity. But see, they had to seal that. They couldn't release it to nobody. That's just for California. Now, you didn't set it out your mouth. So if the state of Nevada want to pick that up and charge you <laughs> to accessory, it can't. Chill him with so the answer. Right yeah, bro. Hell yeah. That would be the so ultimate Ain't no statute yeah. of limitation on no murder. Ain't no statute limit to a body. So you gotta remember, when he, when they pressed the nigga to tell, they gave him immunity on everything he was telling on. Right, right, you know, okay, we know you was involved in the distribution of this. You was involved in this. You was involved in that. When he give him the, the Tupac thing, he know, he know is that the shooter is dead. This time, baby Lane dead, right? So he give it to him. He know, shit, my, my nephew dead. He tell him what he did. I'd have my pastor gun, but that seal over in California can't be charged. This nigga then went on an interview, gun from motherfucking yep, zip dead. We went, we went here, went here, went here. We seen the niggas. I couldn't get out because it wasn't on my side, so I passed the gun to this person, and they fired. You dumb motherfucker. And so in case y'all don't know, he talking about Keefy D. And Keefy D been all over the internet giving up the whole story. He's also talking about Gene Deal. As y'all know, that's uh, Puff's old bodyguard. And uh, K. Slay, R.I.P., who was a good friend of um, Wack. Uh, Gene Deal is apparently his cousin too, so a lot of inside stuff here. Back to the uh, clip. And you see the oh. shit. You see the shit. How he be talking about Puffy though, man. He be telling all of him the Puffy business, man. He ain't lying. Puff, let Puff be over there nervous. Let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. The Puff nigga is gonna be like the, the what's the Kennedy? Joe Kennedy, the the the, the, the dad. Yeah. Puff gonna end up like, you know how the dad ended up in the wheelchair, slumped over, fucked up? Died into the movie. Puff got the bad movie. karma coming because Puff has been skating. You know what, what I'm saying? Whack crazy. Puff been skating like a motherfucker. You feel me? Why is that he, whack? Some Chilling bad with the answer. Gonna happen. It's just, I hope it, but it's just, you know, when you get away with a bunch of shit and uh, other people getting hit and hurt and fucked up behind it and you skating. Something gonna happen to you or something close to you or around you, right? Because that's just karma. You know, what you put in the universe, you're gonna come back. You don't get back. It's gonna be gonna come 360. So, you know, you gotta remember the nigga Keep Me Ain't Lying. That was, think about it. He tripping with death row. Them power rules. Keep it did cop and crimp. It makes sense for Puff to, right? Yeah, one plus one, two. Yeah, right? But, you know, like he ain't, you know, you got to remember, you know, you got Puff, you got Keefy D, you got Zip. You know what I'm saying? You know, you niggas like, well, what's that triangle with Zip? And Puffy Mama was idle. 
Oh, I never knew that. Now that is exclusive. I didn't know that either. And y'all know Puff's dad, Melvin Combs, was uh, one of those real G's from Harlem back back in the day. But um, I didn't know Puff mom had any dealings with this Zip dude who was also involved in a lot of the money transfer for what supposedly happened to other people. But I'll let Wax say it. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you know, when y'all do the math, if you niggas slow down and think about it, that one nigga Gene, he be talking a lot of shit, but it's one thing he says, and y'all niggas don't catch it. Yeah, Puff, Gene be talking a lot. Gene was that's K Slate cousin, so I know him. Um, <clears throat> he was head of security back then for Puff. Gene always says Puff and Biggie rolled to the event together. But they didn't leave the event together. Mm -hmm. He said that. And he also said that they said not to go. Somebody called and said not to go to the event. I never pay story change. That was the Vlad interview, right? You got to pay attention. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling with the everybody answer. Everybody involved in all these shits, they dead. Everybody dead. The nigga that killed Biggie is dead. The nigga that killed Pac is dead. Everybody's dead. The nigga that called the dog on the Biggie shit is dead. Everybody dead. Ain't nobody here. Dog. <laughs> so, you know, that's why Dink, the Gene be on with the own, because he know everybody gone. But, <laughs> you know, and I tell niggas like Puff and um, Pac's murder, they ain't got nothing to do with each other. That's you a fact. Man? Nothing to do with each other. You know, nothing to do with each other. That, that sh one was street shit. The other one was business. You know what I'm saying? The other one was business. Sure. West Coast, we played a part, but the East Coast played a part. So what happened to Biggie? We know the Crips allegedly, um, you know, with Pac, but what, what's supposed to happen with Biggie? There wasn't no Crips with Pac. I mean, we know who killed Pac. That's business. Listen, uh -huh. that nigga did what he's supposed to do. True. You, you got to know who you fuck with. Ain't right. no niggas stomping me out and let me get away. Yeah. Okay, and live this nigga G Connect on here. You not certain the niggas. Answer. You 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 don't. It's certain niggas I can see, and if I know it's on like that with this nigga, and we can't go all the way, we ain't fucking with him because we know if we let him go, we gonna wake up and he gonna be in body some shit somewhere, right? So niggas, you just can't handle like that. It ain't gonna happen. This real and, shit. And that just, little young nigga was one of them niggas. He that was, nigga, uh, baby, lay uh, that nigga. You don't play with that nigga. That nigga was a, that nigga was about that shit. Everybody knew. You know what I'm saying? Just because niggas is Crips and Bloods, we know what's what. It wasn't that the niggas is Crips. They busting niggas Bloods. They but no, we knew who was who. Nigga, like that's why I said Pac fucked the whole dynasty up. You know what I'm saying? This nigga. If he knew how to stay in his fucking place and stop punk faking and act like he's something he wasn't, the dynasty wouldn't have been fucked up. That's true. Nigga, you got to know your role, my nigga. If I'm with my niggas from Baltimore and <clears throat> one of my Baltimore niggas like, yo, man, that's that nigga we was getting into it with. I'm with 20 niggas from Baltimore. If my Baltimore niggas move, then I'm moving. I'm not going to say who, that nigga right there. Yeah. Right, and then go over there and force my nigga's hand because I'm moving to move. No, this nigga might be the nephew to the connect. He might uh -huh. be one of them type of niggas. You don't know what what's you got to let them niggas call that dog. The homies knew sugar on nine years joint suspension. Few of the homies on parole. They in a motherfucking hotel. Cameras fucking everywhere, and they know that's baby lane. Worst worst case, they're gonna be like, yo, y'all watch that nigga, see where he go. Because stopping him out, hey, hey, they know he coming is, back. Is, yeah, you chilling with the answer. Listen, this is an interesting perspective. And this from somebody who's actually on the West Coast. Hey, I'm on the East Coast, so I sit back and listen to these guys. You want to ask me about East Coast, though? I got you. But anyway, uh, what I will say about Wack is he does not romanticize the memory of Tupac. He just goes... I guess for what he think is the truth. You know what I mean? Like he'll say Tupac wasn't a gangster. He shouldn't have been acting like something he wasn't. And um, 
I mean, he spit it raw, but you know, whack going to do whack, and we just sit back and enjoy the show. Uh, back to the clip. Hey, whack, so, 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 you know he coming back, so this One motherfucker Pac. In the Matrix, sir. Look, Pac goes over there. He lights out. So by the time the homies look up, he already moving. The homies got to move. He take off. Now they got Suge stopping the nigga out. Boom. Nine years. Suge gone. You just fucked the whole label up. That's gone. Right? Then you playing with it. Homies knew. Reg even knew. We, I'm like, Reg. He said, what? I said, Reg, where was the formation? For standard formation. Suge Knight car. You got a car in the front. You got a car in the back. You got a car on his right. The car in the front. He blowing the light. He's the chase car. The car in the back. Gonna stay in the back. The car on the right ain't let nothing pull up on it. You not pulling up on the side of the car. I don't give a fuck if we lock traffic, freeway. I don't give a fuck. You not pulling up on the side of the car. It's not happening. Reds, where the fuck was the formation? He said, whack. Shit got weird. And How the dance, fuck the car man. able to pull up? How in the fuck the car pull up? Let's just say the car to the right, they slipping. How the fuck a nigga get off some shots in the car that blow the light? Don't return fire. I'm what the fuck is going on, bro? Yeah, that story. It's designed right like here. this for a reason. It's designed to keep you from hitting, but if you do hit, we hit back on the spot. Chilling with the answer. Straight up. It's a hundred niggas in the back seat. Straight up. When they get out that bitch, they blow it. Ain't no getting away. The chase car, then you you clean it up. Like, so I'm like, bro, like, I'm... What the fuck? So what happened to Biggie? Well, you know, Biggie was a sacrificial lamb. Had nothing to do with Biggie. Gotcha. I will say this. I will say this. Damn. Keep it gangster. <clears throat> he was murdered by the trigger finger of a West Coast nigga. For sure. But that was business. The oh. shot was called by East Coast nigga. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Over here was a bag. Over there was a politic. And sure got mad because you just fucked up my business. And that's the nigga y'all see on the movie get hit on the motorcycle. Yeah. What now? I gotta check movie, that out. They killed him on the motorcycle? What movie? Right? I need to watch it. Which one? It's on the one the, the, the biggie. The Tupac shit on Netflix. You remember the nigga on the motorcycle? Niggas pulled up on the Camaro on him and gunned him down. Yeah, I remember him. That's the nigga that. That's the nigga that killed Big Nigga. You just killed the money, you bitch ass nigga. You mm. went and killed the money. You took a bag from a New York nigga, and you killed the whole movement. This nigga supposed to have been here so we can keep dissing back and forth and making money. You took this bag from these niggas and you murdered this man for these crumbs. And mm. fuck the whole business up while I'm sitting in jail. Get him out of here. Mm. Yeah. I know a lot of us have done a lot of research on this Biggie Tupac thing. But uh, I got to tell you, he's saying some things that I wasn't fully, fully aware of. The streets was talking. I am, I'm not saying anything, but Wack is telling it. So let's get back to it. Bam, bam. So did that bag come from Old Boy? That's a New York bag. <laughs> that, that, that nigga Suge Knight did not and would not. So any nigga on Bad Boy that would fuck up the money. Mm -hmm. Them niggas, you think these niggas, they run around worth five, six hundred million. You think them niggas couldn't have been got rid of each other? Fact. <laughs> Wasn't no internet back then. We was built on ooh, 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 ooh. Nigga, you heard that song? Ooh, ooh, ooh. You heard that song? Ooh, ooh. what they say? Go buy it. Go buy it. Buy it. Source. That's a that fact. That was it. Yes. So nigga, you just, wait, hold up. Nigga, wait, wait, wait. What happened? Mm. Nigga did what? For what? The answer. Blood gotta go. Be a result of him wanting to leave the record label? No, nah, hell no. Who wanted to leave? Pop? <laughs> No, yeah. Biggie wanted oh, to Biggie, be a bad yeah. boy. That's what, based on what Hold he on. says. I don't know what Wag going to say, but, you know, from a person that was kind of around at that time, Biggie definitely wanted to um, 
leave the label. He he was actually hurting for money despite all the jewelry and things like that. Um, his contract did not warrant him getting paid a whole lot, which is why he spun off the Junior Mafia. He got that money. But in terms of the big money, it would have happened after life of the, after death um, went, you know, Diamond and all that. Plus, it was a double album, so you get double credit for that. But he never lived to see that money. Plus, when you put out a record back then, it's not like today with the streams and you can see money right away. It took six to nine months for that money to cycle through the system. So you could release something in January and be starving until October and have to borrow that money from the label at a high rate and um so it was just a different time anyway we get back to the clip but yeah sad and he was gonna leave well he i mean that. he probably was you know they all threatened to leave puffy wasn't gonna let him leave puffy a bit his man he gonna give him a bag he couldn't resist and they wasn't gonna go nowhere but you know <clears throat> it's other shit you know it's be other shit going on and he know why you think you don't never see biggie mama really interacting with dude then Biggie started that label and was and he signed Cam and a couple other people. That's no, oh, they, they ain't got a problem up. with that. Shit, little baby got a label called Four PF up on the QC. Copy, yeah, it's a fact. Niggas on trip, that bro. Hey, you had a point. What you said, you just said. I think that went over everybody here. Biggie, I mean Biggie, <laughs> Mama do not fuck with Puffy, bro. Listen, none of them do. That. Tiana don't need them. None, none of them do. Them. Yeah. Nah, bro. DJ, you know? none of them. Like they do not. I remember she had an interview when she was just like, the dude asked her like, "Do you think Puffy loves your son?" She like, "No, nah, he just love what my son could do for him." Bro, listen, my nigga. Gene be saying some shit. He say some key shit. Niggas just don't be catching it. You you referring to the Vlad interview? What? When he was talking about the whole shit with that night. Jamie interview. Multiple facts. Nah, Jamie. Hey, post it. I'm going to send you a picture. Jamie be dropping some gems. I ain't even going to lie. Hey, he's posted up right now or he sleep? He sleep. Jamie's I'm going to say story posted. don't change. He could go on like multiple platforms and tell change. the same story. But I mean, Jamie had arguments. Platform. I said, Jamie, me, me and Jamie had arguments. I'm like, Jamie, bro, you still in New York. Stop playing. Like, cause he be, he be, he, if like, like, I'm like, bro, Gene, come on, bro. Cause he be like, oh, he ain't saying no lies. I'm like, bro, stay, see Gene, my issue with Gene, which is not an issue. Gene ain't mad at Puff for what Puff did to him. You know that, right? He mad at Puff because Puff didn't look out for one of his partners that used to work for Puff. And I'm like, bro, dude, don't even be saying nothing, nigga. You going too hard. He ain't even mad at Puff. Puff ain't did nothing to Gene wrong. No, <laughs> one think, of his boys. I get think he talking about his means. I think Puff fucked up his retirement or some shit. Nah, he didn't. You know, he, he you know, he needed some money or something. Something Puff didn't want to do it or whatever. And you know, Gene feel some kind of way. So I'd be like, bro, yo ass. Go. I love Gene to death. Like that's K Slade's family. It's his cousin. That anytime K Slay moved and the, you know, drove driven around, it was Gene. When I met Cardi B, Gene was at the door at Sue's Rendezvous. You know what I'm saying? Working head of security for um Slay, Straight Stunt Magazine party. You know what I'm saying? Back when Cardi was still hustling at the strip club, Gene been around. He ain't, you know, Gene's a uh ex. I want to say he was probation. Yeah, yeah we can conceal. He had a firearm. Officer. Officer. Yeah, he can have his firearm. Good dude, solid dude. Nigga got hands, all that. Gonna pop you, all that. He's angry. That nigga, if you watch his, his uh, interview, that nigga be mad. Chilling with the answer. When, uh, Gene and when uh, Mace got pissed about what Gene said about his part of it. Well, this is what I'm saying. Like, they get mad because the nigga Gene is really telling the truth. They just be wanting, like, Gene, why you telling the truth? Like, you know, I hear all kind of shit about me, right? Oh, uh, his wife, the police, he the police, his son is gay. I don't get mad because it ain't the truth. You know, when that truth hit a nigga, nigga get reacting, right? It's one thing for a nigga troll you, nigga be like, damn, this nigga really is saying this shit. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? Nigga really told the truth. He's, he's, this nigga Gene be saying some shit.
Yeah, May snapped. I could tell that hit him heavy because he snapped. But you know, Mace only gonna snap so much. He don't want to fuck with Gene. He know that's different. Oh yeah, because then he dipped after that too. He was. Yeah, he don't want to fuck with Gene. Gene, well, you know, you got them old school burnt out niggas. You know what I'm saying? What that? You know, Gene, big old nigga. Gene about six four, six five. You know what I'm saying? Old burnt out ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Got a license to pop your ass, whip your ass. You know what I'm saying? He ain't no walk in the park. Chilling with the you answer. Know, Mace is a rapper. You know, so I just be a little worried about Gene, you know what I'm saying? Because I'd be like, Gene, nigga, so, some point, nigga, you got to stop. Fuck that whack. I ain't never stop. But Gene said he writing a book. Yeah, he probably is. It's going to be a very dangerous book. And he said that. He said this book is going to make a lot of people mad. going to be dangerous. And now... I know it's coming out, because watch this. Who you think the only nigga he would listen to that would that been stopping him from putting books and shit out? Who you think that one nigga is? And he gone. Ain't no stopping it. Oh, it's going to get ugly. Hey, he the only nigga. Like, them niggas is family. That's the only nigga that can cuss Gene ass out and Gene will go over there and be quiet. Not because he's scared. It's just, they fam, these niggas is like, I want to say Gene might be married to K-Slay on the shit. Like, they real family and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, Slay gone. 